everybody. We're trying out a new location at the Explore to Learn Early Literacy blog. I'm Jamie. I'm Fanny. Wow, I like it over here. Me too. It's kind of nice. Yeah. I feel all very masterpiece theater-y. Yeah. yeah. And it makes you look really pretty. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Yeah. Well, anyways, we're on our second week of summer reading. Well, our second story time. It sounds like it too. Yeah, there's lots of kids running around today. Yeah. So what we covered today was outer space. Time in outer space, don't you think? I agree. Yeah, so what we did first in my twos and threes class, we read a book called Roaring Rockets. And it's all about rockets. Hey, do you know anything about rockets? Well, I know they have some sort of a really cool engine and mm -hmm. it goes up really high. Where do they go? They go through the atmosphere. They do? Yeah. Where, where, what kind of places can they go? Maybe the moon? The moon? Or yeah. Mars? Or maybe, usually they have to send like unmanned spacecrafts to Mars. Oh. But that's what this book was about, going to the moon. Awesome. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun things. My favorite question from one of my kids was, why does the space shuttle have to land in the water when it re-enters into the Earth? That's a great question. Do you know the answer, Sammy? Is it because it's so hot? But, well, hot's one of the reasons, but what would happen if the space shuttle tried to land on the ground? Oh, it might crash. It would crash, and so it has to use the water as a place to land. Well, that's so clever. Yeah, so this book was really great. It was a good fiction book with some nonfiction items spread throughout it, so it was really good for kind of teaching what astronauts do and what rocket ships do. It was good fun. Nice, what else did you do? Well, that class we actually made a rocket ship craft. Wow. We did, it looks like this. And so what we did was I gave the kids all the parts to the rocket ship, and they colored them however they wanted, and then we glued them onto a starry at space atmosphere type of background. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. I think I the really background's like pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. For my four to six year old class, we read another book called Here in Space. And this book is actually funny because it talks about how we all live in space. What? Don't we? We I do. live in space. You do, Sammy. No, I don't. You do. You know I why? I love planet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I know this book really gets you thinking about because we all live on planet Earth, Earth. We technically all live in space. That's right. And so it covered things from the jungle to the desert to volcanoes, wow. robots. It was really great. You know what? What? I like the jungle. I mean, you would like the jungle, Sandy. Yeah. I like to be cold, so I think I'd like to live in like the Arctic or something. Cool. Yeah. And then we made a craft about the planets with my four to six year old. And I'm really excited about this craft because it's not only crafty, but it's also educational. So what it is, is each of the planets, the kids were able to color, and then they glued them to a black piece of paper. And then do you know what the big yellow thing in the middle is? I do. What is it? The sun. The sun. And what's great about this craft is that if you hold on to the sun, and you can actually move the planets around the sun, which is how the solar system works. That is so cool. I know, so it was kind of a little learning mechanism as well. That's amazing. Yeah, and I think that's all we did today, Sammy. Yeah, but I got something to tell you. Okay, you tell me something, Sammy. I'm going away tomorrow. Sammy is going away tomorrow. Aren't you? you want to tell them where you're going? I'm going to study in California. <laughs> and I'm jealous. I know, I'm going to the American <laughs> Library Association Conference. It's going to be really exciting. And Sammy, are you going to do some reporting for us while you're there? I am. It's going to be very serious reporting. I bet. Be ready. We'll see. Okay. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. We can't wait to hear all about it. Okay. All right, Sam. Tell them bye. Okay, bye.